Welcome to exporting your model. In this video, you will learn how to set up the FBX export and understand why we use it. Realize that your model is currently only suitable for Blender. The export doesn't fully work in the model's current state. So let's hop straight on over into Blender. Even though this and the following lectures are focused on exporting to other packages, you'll want to follow along even if you don't want to do this at the moment, so you gain an understanding of how things need to be set up, and also it'll give you a deeper understanding into how to set up a rig in a very neat and concise manner. Right, so over in Blender, you may be confronted with this if you were to open up your screen afresh. Now, don't worry, we're on the image slash UV editor to do with Blender. Now, usually, obviously, you'd see something there, but because I've quit the program and come back in, it's opened up how it was last time. So I'm just going to go down here to the um, what was a 3D editor header and actually just change it back to 3D view so we can see our lamp. Now, if we export this, let's go through the options we've got of exporting. Now, if we go to File and Export, it gives us a series of options down here. Now, there are various options down here. We're going to be focusing on FBX. Because it is a standard file that will work across multiple platforms, whether you need to import this to another 3D package or whether you're importing it into a game engine. So let's go ahead and click on export. Okay, so we end up with our file management system here, and I've already got a file that I've been testing called Lamp Mesh Export FBX, so I'm going to click on that, and that's the what I'm going to overwrite essentially. Now down here in the lower left, we have a lot of different options. I suggest you leave the version alone. Now, applying units, what's going on here? Now this is the orientation of our model. Now I believe, I'm not quite sure, I might go, let's go and check which way forward is and which way up is. So let's just cancel that for the moment and hop around our model. Okay, so let's make sure it's in its default pose and nothing else. So let's go on the outline here, select the rig. It's in pose mode, which is great. I'm just going to zoom in on a bit of our model. I'm in orthographic projection at the moment, so I'm just going to toggle out of that. Uh, right, let's show our rig so I can move it about. Excellent, let's select the entire rig and just make sure that there's no extra rotations applied. Brilliant. Okay, so our model is looking, it's actually looking backwards, so it's looking along the x-axis. To make that clear, if I were to look down the axis of x, which you can see the red arrow just here on the screen, that would be looking down X, that would be looking down Y. Now, of course, you're looking backwards, so that would be negative Y, and this would be negative X. So in this case, the lamp is actually orientated around this way, so the orientation would be as X is forward, and of course, Z being up. So let's go ahead and go to File, Export, FBX, right, Forward, uh, X, and up is Z. Perfect. Now, a few of the extra ones down here. We've got the empties that you've got in the scene, the camera, the lamp. I'm going to leave all of those selected, so you're literally going to export everything that's in our scene. And we're going to leave all the other ones as they are for the moment. So I'm just going to click Export here. And that has saved the file. Now do note, and this is quite important, that if you've already got an export file labelled and you go and export again with the same file name, it will overwrite it without asking you, are you sure? Now these day and age we're so used to the computer asking us, are you sure you want to do that? Well, if in this particular case, it's just going to overwrite it. So bear that in mind when doing exports. So just follow along with me for a moment as we go and have a look at our export when it's brought into two game engines. So I'll be pausing the video whilst these things load up and let's just see how they come in. 
Okay, so I'm over in Unity here, and you'll have to bear with me because I'm not a Unity expert, but I know I need to import a new asset, and I'm going to go ahead and select my FBX file. Here we go, I found it here, and I'm going to bring that into our scene, and click and drag, and that will drop it in. As we can see here, something's gone horribly wrong. It's not looking at all like it should do. So things are all skew with and not where we want them to be. In fact, this has an animation along with it that if we play that animation... Oh, something's happening there. Oh, that looks horrible. The base is moving by itself and it's on completely the wrong plane and everything else. So, that's not very good. The lamp isn't moving, the rig's not attached to the lamp. Lots of mess going on there, so that's no good. Let's see how it happens in Unreal. In fact, when I first tried to import this into the Unity engine, their lamp wasn't even attached to, the lampshade wasn't even attached to the rest of the body. So, not quite sure why it's actually come across quite as neat as it was but it's still not right. Okay, so let's go ahead in the Unreal Engine and just go ahead and import with everything as default. So let's just import all. Got a couple of warnings along there. And, oh, there's lots of things in here. Let's go for the lamp if we can find it. Lamp mesh. Well, that looks like it's our backdrop, lovely. Also looks like it's our backdrop. Ooh. Okay, so one of the lessons we can learn here is there's lots of things that can be imported. Uh, do you need all of them? So the first thing I think we need to go and do is make sure that our model only has the vital bits in it. In fact, looking along here, our lamp doesn't even seem to be in the um, FBX file when Unreal reads it. So we need to sort that out. It's a bit useless at the moment. So over back in Blender, the first thing we're going to need to do is make everything a little neater. So all I want left in my scene is the lamp and its armature. I don't want anything else. I also want to make sure that any curve objects that we've created are solidified into a mesh because we're going to need it to be a mesh object later on. I've got a challenge for you guys. Okay, I'd like you to simplify the scene. Save as a new Blender file and make sure you include the word export in that new Blender file just so you know what it's for. Make sure that any curve objects are converted into a mesh object. And then finally, remove everything from the scene that isn't part of the lamp or armature. Pause the video now and give that a go. Okay guys, welcome back. Let's hop straight on over into Blender. Right, so looking at our lamp, um, let's go ahead straight away and remove some of the stuff that's a bit further out. So we're gonna remove the backdrop, it's not part of our lamp. Ooh, before we do this, let's go file, save has almost rushed ahead and I'm going to call it Animated Lamp Export. Save as Blender file. Animated Lamp Export at the top. Brilliant. Right, I'm going to delete this lighting plane as well. Now, I can't actually select that at the moment. Um, I can select the lamp that it's parented to, but I can't select it because it is probably... Here we go. No, not that one there. Plane here. I've turned off selecting in the outliner. That's what that little arrow means. Right, I can now delete that. I'm going to delete the camera as well. Now, in our model, let's have a look down here. We've got a couple of objects that are curved objects. The lampshade outline and the lampshade profile. Well, let's the lampshade profile is the one I care about. Let's select that and object convert to mesh from curve or alt and C. We've got that there in the... Here we can keep the original, but in this case I don't want to, so that's absolutely fine over in the operator panel. And I'm going to delete the lampshade outline. Excellent, so that's there. The spot lamp that's in here, I'm going to remove that as well. That's not part of the lamp. 
The lower arm has an empty associated with it, the mirror axis, that can go now as well. Let's see, any other... nope, that's fine. We've got some old archaic stuff here, so the base curves can be deleted. The base curve outline can be deleted as well. The base mesh old can be deleted. And that leaves us, I think, pretty much with the only bits we need. The lamp rig and the meshes themselves. Excellent! How did you guys do? I hope you've ended up with a nice, clean model. And I will see you in the next lecture.